So it's been about a year since I've really been able to do any work on the building, but today I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna start kind of small. I've got a handful of small projects here and there that just are kind of, they've been building up that I have to kind of get finished. One of the major things that I'm gonna focus on in this video is finishing out some of these windows that I installed. The problem is this was, I think maybe my second time installing windows. And so um, I'm, I'm seeing some issues with some of them. So this, this window back here that I'll show you, it's not fully centered. And I took some measurements and found out that actually the brick openings in these two lower windows is not uh, exactly the same. So here I'll kind of show you the situation we've got going on. So you can see, and it might not show up too well because it's not, you know, a dramatic gap difference on, on either side. But on this side, the gap here between the, the window and the brick is just a little bit wider on this side than it is on this side. And so to avoid it, you know, when it's all finished out looking like, you know, the trim on this side is this big and the trim on the other side is that big, I'm going to try to even out the window, um, center it a little bit better in the uh, brick opening so that it, it looks a little bit better when it's trimmed out. The other thing I'll have to do in this video is flash the windows. And one of the products I came across when I was kind of researching this is the uh, zip system flashing tape from the Huber Wood Company. I ended up reaching out to them and they were nice enough to send me a, a free box of the product, which I'll show you here. And so what they sent me is a bunch of their uh, zip system stretch tape. Unlike a lot of the other flashing tape that is out there, this actually uh, stretches. With this stuff, it's really great for the, the corners of your window framing because you can get the corners, you know, you can stretch the tape out and, and get them sealed really nice. And so, so that's another Another thing we'll be doing in this video is flashing the windows. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out part of the, the framing here, which won't really be a huge deal, and then just move it over just a, a little bit so it allows me to have the space to center the window a little bit better. The first thing I did was to remove the window from the frame. I had already applied some caulking and foam insulation when I installed these windows about a year ago, and so after the window was removed, I used some scrapers to remove all of the residue to get the framing cleaned up as much as possible. I also cleaned out the cracks and openings between the window frame and the brick wall so that once I have the window framing reset, I can come back in and apply some fresh sealant to keep out air, water, and moisture. Once I cleared away all of the residue, I went inside and began removing the framing and the foam insulation around the section of the window that needed to be adjusted. Unfortunately, there was also a section of electrical wiring that I had installed that was running through some of the wood studs, so I had to remove that as well. I took the framing out piece by piece, and then continued removing any foam insulation that was in the way. There was quite a bit of foam insulation around the window that had to be removed, which was kind of a bummer, since it's pretty expensive. Got it! Got it, Joe! But it was pretty easy to use my reciprocating saw to cut the foam in sections, and then pull it away in big chunks using my crowbar. Once the window is all put together, I may end up sticking some of these bigger chunks of foam back into the wall, and then applying new spray foam around them to hold them in place. This might save me a little bit of money in re-insulating this section. All right. It's free. So I got it free. That was what all that was for, just to get this, this one free. Probably just gonna go about a quarter inch back this way, and that way it'll be, you know, equal on both sides. Um, and the window will be able to be centered, so. Hey,
At this point, it was starting to get dark, and so I decided to put the window back into the frame for the night, and to start again first thing in the morning. The next morning, I started by taking the window back out and then used a hammer to knock the side of the frame that needed to be adjusted back into place. I believe the technical term for this part of the window frame is the jack stud, or a trimmer. So once I had the trimmer moved into place, I reattached it with some screws and then took a final measurement to make sure it was in the right spot. Then I temporarily stuck the window back in just to make sure that it fit all right and that it would sit more centered in the opening. Once I made sure the window was good to go, I took it down once again and went back inside to start cleaning up some of the mess from the day before and putting the wall and electrical wiring back together. It was definitely not ideal to have to redo work that was already finished, but I guess that's just part of the process of learning how to do all of this. And after making mistakes like this, it definitely helps me to be more slow and careful as I'm doing other projects in the future, taking my time to make sure I'm doing things right the first time. All right, well, this window is ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the flashing tape on this one. Never done this before, so we're gonna See how it goes. The other thing you need to have when you're using flashing tape like this um, is a roller. You don't want to just, you know, put the tape down by hand. You can press it down good, but then you want to go back over it in the end with a roller to make sure it, it really sticks and adheres well to the, the surface. You want to start with the, the bottom of the window with the tape. I'm gonna go up all around the whole frame, but you wanna start with the bottom so that you can put the, the other one up on the side, but you wanna have an, an overlap. And that's just so that if, if moisture gets in, it'll run down over the tape and, and go on out instead of getting back underneath the tape somehow. So you wanna start with the bottom. I realized that the Huber Wood Company sent me both the stretch tape and some of their normal non-stretch six inch tape. Instead of using the stretch tape for the whole window, I decided to use the normal non-stretch tape to cover the bulk of the window framing and to then go back over the corners with the stretch tape. I started by cutting off a strip for the sill. I peeled off some of the backing from one corner, lined it up, and stuck it down. Then I peeled off the backing for the other half of the tape and pushed it down against the front of the sill. I decided to roll each piece of tape immediately after I put it on, just so I didn't forget to do it later. This is an important step to ensure that the tape adheres well and doesn't start to peel off over time. Then I cut two more strips and repeated these steps for the sides of the framing. Once the tape was in place, I used my knife to cut slits in each corner so I could pull the tape back over the inside of the framing, and then once again made sure to roll the tape immediately after. I'll make sure to put links in the video description in case you want to get any of the products you see me using in this video. Full disclosure, if you do use my links to buy these products, we do get a small percentage of the sale, which will go towards helping to finance the work on this building. That's one of the great things about starting this YouTube channel and you know, just wanted to say just how much we appreciate all of you guys following the channel uh, because one of our goals with starting a YouTube channel is to get it monetized, which we've been able to do. And as the channel grows, you know, we're, we're hoping that it allows us to bring in a little bit extra income so we can actually afford to, to continue this project. And you know, we're doing a lot of this out of pocket and that's caused it to be a pretty slow process. You know, we don't have a ton of money to do this. And so we're doing the YouTube channel and having all of you guys following it has been a huge help and, and it's definitely gonna continue to help us to, you know, be able to afford to, to do this project. And it's allowed us to, you know, work with, uh, you know, reach out to companies like this and get free products, which is great. And so, yeah, just again, wanna say thank you to you guys and thanks to the Huber Wood Company for sending this product. Once both sides of the frame were covered, I cut a small strip of the stretch tape for the corners. 
I used a carpenter square to push the tape down tight into the corner to make sure it stuck really well. I haven't ever used any other brand of flashing tape before, so I didn't have much to compare this to, but I was impressed with the quality of the zip system tape. It was really easy to use and stuck really well, and it definitely gave me a lot of peace of mind that the windows would be well protected from water and moisture. After the bottom corners were done, I put a strip of tape across the top, and then once again used a piece of the stretch tape for each corner. All right, well, I got this window flashed. I think it worked pretty well. It was fairly easy to use uh, once you get kind of the hang of it. But yeah, I think this will definitely provide a, a really good airtight, watertight seal for the window. Another thing I'm gonna have to do that I can't do today is you see where there's, you know, there's the seams here where the, the window framing the wood meets the brick. This one has a little bit bigger gap in some spots. So this is where I'm, I'm waiting on the liquid flashing to come in and that's actually going to come tomorrow but um, the liquid flash will will be what I use to seal up between the, the wood and the brick here. I don't have anything left to do today so I'm just going to stick the window back in and hope it fits and then since it is supposed to rain over the next couple days I'm probably going to figure out a way to try to cover this up with a tarp so that water doesn't get through the, the open cracks that are still left. So to finish this window out, I still need to seal up the cracks between the wood frame and the brick wall. I'll be showing you how I did this in the next video. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you will be notified when that video comes out.